Hi there, it's Catherine here. So today I want to talk about Solar Bones by Mike McCormack, which is one of the books that's been longlisted for this year's Man Booker Prize. It's been drawing my attention in bookshops for a few months now because it's got such a lovely cover, but I actually bought it as an e-book um, and I didn't really know anything about it, it was just a spur of the moment decision. I'm really pleased I decided to read it and I think it's already become one of my favourite books this year, uh, but it wasn't love at first sight. It's a retrospective novel, really, about a man pondering his life and his career and his decisions, all while sitting in his kitchen one morning. It seems pretty banal, and to be honest, he is a fairly ordinary man with an ordinary life, but the thing that makes this novel special and different is the writing style. It's a stream of consciousness novel, where there are no chapters, no paragraphs, and not even full stops, but there are just line breaks to serve as all the usual functions of punctuation. I haven't read many novels with a style like this, but I really haven't enjoyed the ones I have read in the past. The ones that stick in my mind mostly are Roberta Bolaño's By Night in Chile and Virginia Woolf's The Waves, and they're both by really respected authors, and they're probably great works of literature, but I just didn't get on well with the style. I felt like it hindered my ability to read these novels fluently, and I found it a bit pretentious in both of those books. I just didn't feel like it added anything to either of those books, but thankfully I feel very differently about Solar Bones. I have to admit when I saw the first page of Solar Bones and it looked like this, I thought to myself, oh god, I'm gonna hate this. But luckily I was on my lunch break at work and I had time to kill and nothing else to read, so I ploughed on and within the first ten or so pages this style gave way to a much more lucid, flowing prose. This novel is really an extended character analysis of the main character Marcus and we hear about his past, his family, his beliefs, his worries and fears, and while there are plot points, I don't think the point of the novel is to be a continuously chronological and forward-moving trajectory of the plot. Plot was used in this novel as a sort of conduit to understanding his psyche, and that's what I felt the novel was really about, about delving deep into the psyche of an individual. The style was really what made this so successful, because what you see laid on the page are his raw, unfiltered thoughts, and I think it's one of the most personal books I've ever read, to the extent where at times I even felt like I was invading his privacy by reading it, and I think that's just testament to Mike McCormack's enormous talent. The style was not a gimmick at all, but I actually thought it was necessary to achieve the desired effect, and normal prose would not have been able to do that. McCormack absolutely nails the way thoughts work which is no mean feat. There's a constant vacillation in the novel between depth and superficiality, where he's flitting between thinking of some mundane element of his life, and that sparks off a train of thought about Irish politics. I really like that he made the connections between seemingly unrelated thoughts logical in a way that they do in our brain. There are constantly new threads of thoughts opening up, and a lot of them are left unresolved, and I just think that's a really accurate portrayal of how the kind of train of thought in our mind really works. Clearly, real thoughts are sometimes contradictory, they're not fully formed, and they certainly don't appear in our mind as prose, so McCormack made several stylistic choices to help him represent these thoughts. Firstly, there's the positioning of the words on the page with line breaks rather than full stops and paragraphs, and this creates a rhythm to the prose that is sometimes staccato, it's sometimes breathless, running away with itself, or going on tangent. Also, the writing itself was beautiful, I thought. I find sometimes with this kind of highly intellectual writing that it can be pretentious and it starts to irritate me as I'm reading it. And there are in this novel times where he's musing on, on very intellectual and convoluted political ideas and things about human nature, which I think to some readers might be off-putting, but the way he does it is still always very lucid, and I thought it was really effective. The language itself was just gorgeous, and especially in the last section of the book, which you'll know if you've read it, it was just written so viscerally that I just could not stop reading. Because there are no natural pauses in the prose, it is very hard to put down, and if I had the chance I would absolutely read it in one sitting. I think that would make for a great reading experience. Another positive thing I have to say about this style is that it made me really care about Marcus, and it laid bare all his faults and his limitations in his worldview and his struggles to accept his children's choices. But because it's such a personal insight into his thoughts, you can't help but understand his rationale for how he thinks 
and you just care about him and want the best for him. Marcus is an engineer and this really colours the way he sees the world and how he processes information. Metaphorically he likes to strip things down to their fundamentals in order to understand them and the way he thinks is very logical and procedural. I found this fascinating because he, as a middle-aged man working in engineering, has a very different background to me and so our natural way of thinking about things is different but the way that this book is written make, made me understand intuitively how he felt. The further I got through this book the more and more I enjoyed it and by the end I can quite comfortably say it's definitely one of the best books I've read so far this year in terms of innovation, enjoyment, lasting impression, just everything you can hope for in a book. I would really recommend it to anyone, even if the style scares you, because it scared me and I still really enjoyed it. I got it on an ebook for just a few pounds, so if you don't want to commit to buying the physical edition, then you can just do what I did, and it doesn't really matter too much if you don't love it. If you've already read it, please let me know your thoughts, because I'm really fascinated to hear what other people thought of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!